How's it going for it, traders? Is yours truly Dapolis? Now, guys, today in this video, I'm going to be educating you guys on the best time frame you should be using for your forex trading. Now, guys, I see a lot of people till today, and this issue isn't just peculiar to the new traders. I still see a lot of traders struggle with the time frames they should be using for their trading. Now, the issue is common issue is you might see a 30 minute time frame set up and then maybe the 30 minute time frame is telling you to buy and you have your one hour time frame telling you to sell what the hell do you do you don't know what to do you know should you stick with 30 minutes should you stick with the one hour time frame and i this issue is actually very peculiar to the indicator based strategies right because you know maybe moving average crossover or rsi or stochastics or magd it's a lot of confusion going on so guys in this video i want to demystify all of that right what a lot of people don't know is there's a methodology behind these time frames I want to educate you guys how to use every single one of them and ultimately how to combine them to make the best trading decision possible once again my name is Dapo Willis I've been doing this for 11 years now I know I look pretty young I started trading when I was 17 but yeah 11 years and i can tell you that the first two and a half years were a bit rocky when i mean rocky it was really really bad right however i mean it's it's like everything you do in life once you do something long enough you tend to get a, a better understanding of it and i mean what what better thing to get an understanding of than forex trading right because once you get a hang of it oof, it becomes your atm machine just like how i use it every single week week in week out i manage a lot of money for a lot of high net worth individuals i manage millions and millions of do dollars in the forex market because i know exactly what the market is going to do right before it does it so once again like i said my name is dapper willis and let's jump into this video where i teach you guys the best time frames you should be using for your trading now let's go all right guys so welcome back right so let's let's have a conversation right i want you guys to relax sit back down right let's have a conversation actually before i jump into the nitty gritties of this video just do me one little favor just one little thing right i need you to smash the subscribe button right there if not, i'm not going to say a word <laughs> Are you gonna keep losing money? If I keep quiet today, you will blow your freaking account, right? I'm just joking, I'm joking. So smash the subscribe button right there. Now, the reason I want you guys to do that is I release videos roughly about every 10 days, and I don't want you guys to miss out on opportunities, you know, information that can give you opportunities to make a lot of money in the market. So I'm gonna give you five seconds, okay? So one, smash it, two, three, it's right there, four. All right, all right, guys. So let's jump into this. Now, I've actually taken a couple of notes down. Uh, when I was preparing for this video, I wanted it to be as comprehensive as possible. I didn't want to miss out on anything. Okay, so I have a couple of things I want to discuss here. Now, like I was saying earlier on, the, the fundamental issue with time frames is, you know, you go for all these seminars, you go for all these trainings, and they teach you, oh, it's a it's a London open strategy, or oh, it's a New York close strategy, or oh, it's a Sydney close, or it's like so BS, man, it's rubbish. Half these people don't know what the hell they're talking about. Trust me, I've been doing it 11 years, and you see all those seminars, I went for every single one of them. That's how I got here, right? They just tell you, oh, this is my, my mentor has this strategy, and, and then when you open your computer, you're like, ah, Oh my god, like what am I gonna like? This thing is telling me to sell. What what is so confusing, right? It's so confusing. So it took me a long time for me to be able to understand what time frames I should be using for certain things. So, guys, let me jump into the meat of this video. Like, let, let, let's get into it. So everybody wants to know what time frame should I be using for my entry? What time frame should I be using for my analysis? What should I be doing with what? Bam, let's start. Number one. The monthly time frame. So what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to sit back and I'm going to systematically break down every single time frame. Obviously, I'm not going to bore you guys. Everybody knows what a monthly and a weekly. Is. But I want to tell you what you should be looking out for in every single time frame and most importantly, how to use them to form the best trading decision possible. So the very first one you would want to start with, and this is exactly how I trade. It's the monthly time frame. Now everybody, most people, when they hear the monthly time frame, they're like. What the hell am I doing on this monthly time frame? The candles are huge. They're big. Like, it takes for, like, it literally takes a whole month, a whole ass month for a monthly time frame to form. Okay, we're talking about the best trading time frames here, right? So, it takes a whole month for a monthly. So, you're like, what? Like, 
like like what like like jesus okay like what am i going to be doing now for a whole month now the essence of the monthly time frame is not for trading the essence of the monthly time frame is actually for analysis okay you're supposed to go on the monthly time frame and identify the overall direction of the market now guys i must warn you as i'm giving you guys this information i do have um a group of students called the Forex Mastery Students. Um, I might not be able to divulge that much information, but I'll try my very best as much as I can because a lot of the information, you know, that I would like to divulge is quite proprietary information, right? And it's big. I don't want them coming in the comments of the video and be like, that's why you always giving away the information we paid for free. Like, why are you always this stuff like that? So I'm just gonna try, you know, and obviously just give you guys the best. But the monthly time frame is actually for you to use to identify the overall direction of the market. Okay. I'm gonna try and put screenshots here as much as possible. So what you want to do is the very first thing you do when you open a chart is you want to go on the monthly time frame and identify the direction. The monthly time frame is the Google Maps of Forex, okay? That's the first thing. So the idea is you want to use the monthly to identify the overall direction. And then you come on the weekly. Now, don't forget, let's just say hypothetically, hypothetically, like I just think in this word right there, hypothetically, the monthly is bearish. So let's take a pair. What pair is bearish at the moment? AUD, USD is bearish. I'm going to jump on it soon and make some money, some really good money. And so the monthly time frame is telling me that AUD, USD is bearish. So already I'm going to note it down that AUD, USD is bearish. I will not be looking for buy anywhere, anytime soon already the monthly is this is in in, in further maths because i used to do math in high school it was called the almighty formula right so the monthly time frame is what your google maps in that direction is the way you want to go okay so once you're done with the monthly time frame you then want to scale to the weekly time frame so on the weekly time frame is where you come and actually plot your key levels okay so on the weekly time frame is actually where you want to plot what they call major areas of support and resistance okay don't plot them on the one hour not a five minute not a ten minute why because those lower time frames their support and resistance levels actually don't hold that much water that's why you see you plot certain levels on a 30 minute 15 minute one hour time frame and then when a major news event comes out it just blows right through it because it, it's not concrete enough but if a level can hold on a time frame like a weekly and a monthly time frame that means many 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 weeks of price action have actually taken place for that level to be solid so best belief it is a solid it's not just a level that happened between monday and wednesday right it's a level that took weeks months to become solid so best belief it is a major level now guys monthly overall direction weekly you want to identify your key levels and if there are any potential chart patterns that are forming so what do i mean by this simple so on the weekly time frame you really want to be looking out for stuff like if there are any head and shoulders if there are any double bottoms if there are any you know because at the end of the day think about it on the monthly time frame we identify the overall direction you want your weekly time frame to kind of like give you a chart pattern that is also telling the market to come down in the overall direction as a monthly time frame so what we're looking out for here is confluence okay guys once again there's only so much i can share with you guys ideally ideally i would advise you guys to go ahead and grab the forex mastery program because on there is where i actually explain this in detail but like i said i would explain to you guys as much as i can the link is going to be down here below on the on the forex mastery program i literally combine all these time frames okay i do the analysis on the time frames and then on the lower time frames i teach you guys how to execute the trades this way you're right nine out of ten times so it's more like a confluence thing so once again the link is going to be around here somewhere if you did you want to stand any chance of becoming successful in this game i advise you grab it but enough of that once the link's here or around here but enough of that let's jump into this so we want the weekly time frame right so the weekly time frame also has to line up with the monthly time frame as well i'm getting somewhere with this now the daily time frame this is what you do on the daily time frame on the daily time frame is exactly where you want to come and identify the most immediate trend within the overall trend so what the hell does that mean 
forex mastery students don't kill me for this but here it goes <laughs> here it goes right so on a daily time frame this is what this is what you should be looking out for so if the monthly time frame like AUDOC is pointing downwards right and the weekly time frame we've plotted our key levels on the daily time frame what you want to really do is you because on the monthly time frame we don't have trading opportunities on the weekly time frame it's just massive candles but the daily time frame is where we now come and start to see the waves the oscillation so it is within these waves we can now start looking for what trading opportunities so ideally the monthly should point downwards the weekly should point downwards the daily should also be pointing downwards in that same you know direction as well now once you have all three lined up now guys monthly are for analysis not for trading weekly for analysis the daily also for analysis then you then want at this point now you're like okay cool this thing has told me what i need right it's like like it's going down so this way you can then scale to your four hour time frame and your one hour time frame and what do you do you should only be looking out for one thing selling opportunities why because the overall time frame has given you the the, the the direction this way you're not conflicted on if the 30 minutes is saying buy or sell or if the one hour is telling you buy or, like you don't this the monthly is the almighty guy in this game right if he says south we're going south the week now there's also a common question like what if the 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 daily the monthly and the weekly uh are saying south but the daily is saying obviously it's trending to the upside so what tends to happen is there are very rare cases when that happens but what is usually happening is it's very possible that the overall trend is south so you can say the overall bias for this market is bearish but temporarily we're bullish so what do you do at that point you ideally want to wait for the daily to also line up with the overall time with the, with the bigger time frame which is the weekly and the monthly this way you now know that aha we're ready to go then you scale to a four hour ideally i like to i like to execute my trades on a four hour and a one hour time frame anything lower than a one hour time frame guys is pure gambling that's the truth because anything lower than one hour time frame you're subject to what they call market manipulation there's more market manipulations that have because think about it this is where the algorithms trade this is where the day traders that work in the big banks so freaking people who went to like oxford university studied chemistry studied physics math these guys are way smarter than you they have more information about the market and you have market makers that are driving up prices up and down the whole place and you know you really cannot compete over time okay you might hit one or two three four five winning trades but that's why you find out that overall you're losing money because you cannot beat them consistently on a day-to-day -day basis and if you're trading those smaller time frames most at most 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 probably you're going to be a day trader right so ideally i like to execute my trades on time frames whereby i know that it is you know it's almost impossible for the market makers to manipulate it time frames that i know for example the four hour and one hour time frame time frames that i know that once a candle forms time frames that i know that once my once the if the four hour, i give you an example if the four hour time frame tells me yo daps it's time, like I, I have I have I have fulfilled your entry criteria. Once again, for those of you guys who want to know how I enter, you know, my entry strategy, my exit strategy, um, you know, how I use the four hour and the one, how I use everything to trade. Once again, the link to the Forex Mastery program is gonna be down here. Or my team always puts a link around here. I, I cannot, I'm sorry, I just cannot give away all the information, but I will try my best, like I said earlier, right? So if a four hour time frame, for example, tells me it fulfills my entry criteria and I see a candlestick, a four hour candlestick close that tells me your dabs. I've closed, I fulfill your criteria. I will feel a lot more confident jumping into that trade. Why? Because good luck trying to manipulate a four hour candle. It's difficult. That guy gives you more concrete information than the 30 minute, the five minute, or the one minute candlestick would ever give you. Those guys, okay, the big banks, whoever manipulates the game, they, they, they toy with the lowest time frames, right? So ideally, like I said, you want to start from the monthly. I'm going to quickly recap this so I can let you guys go. I just wanted to make this as brief as possible. Okay, so we start from the monthly. Our overall direction is what we use the monthly for, okay? South. Weekly, Q1 
key levels okay now your key levels once again there's a module on the forex mastery program called module four i talk about how to plot your key levels you don't need any indicators to plot any key levels yes all you need to do is look left is a systematic way to go about it once again right so once you watch the video okay once you get the program you watch the video and you look left you plot those you see those key levels right you find out that those key levels the market always respects the key levels right because they are plotted on a high time frame don't get me wrong you can have levels on your four hour on your one hour but they are called temporary levels we use a different color to apply these so we have the major levels and the minor levels right so don't forget monthly overall direction weekly key levels those key levels will guide you so that you know where the market is most likely going to find support and where the market is most likely going to find resist resistance and i bet you i can guarantee you that 99.9 percent .9 of the time if you plot those key levels properly why am i holding my bank card i was about to buy oh sh can you stop showing my bank card up <laughs> I, was, I was literally on gucci i was about to buy some new fits anyways so I can guarantee you that 99.9% .9 of the time, if you plot your key levels properly on a weekly time frame, the market will always respect it. So because the monthly can be telling us sell, right? The monthly can be telling us it's coming down. But those weekly key levels are there to guide you so that you know we're gonna go down into where? Where do I like where do I exit? Where is the next bus stop? The weekly time frame tells you the various bus stops as this market is going down or is going up. And trust me, when it gets to this level, the market does respect them. So we're doing monthly, now we're done with weekly. And also on the weekly time frame, there's also something I like to look out for. I'm just trying to quickly recap this. If there are any chart patterns. So ideally, I'll give you an example. Let's say the monthly is flowing down. Now, the weekly time frame, ideally, I would like to see, so monthly is flowing down, meaning that the whole game is bearish coming down. Ideally, I would also like to see a bearish chart pattern form on the weekly time frame, like a head and shoulder. So a head and shoulder, meaning that it's time for the market to start coming down, right? If you're new to this, to, to, to the Forex game and all that, you might need to learn this terminology because to be honest, your ability to make forex make money in forex depends on how much knowledge you have and luckily for you guys in the first module of the forex mastery program it is literally an introductory into forex before it starts getting advanced when i say advanced it gets really 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 advanced right so i would like to see a head and shoulder pattern form meaning bearish chart pattern so monthly is down i want to see a bearish chart pattern forming also saying down as well obviously monthly also put uh, weekly also has my key levels the daily i need it to be flowing down as well once everything is flowing like this then i can come to a four hour and once again guys because all the high time frames are saying telling us to go in one particular direction once i go on a four hour or a one hour time frame my strategy i will only be looking for what sell opportunities guys i hope that I've been able to educate you guys. I hope I've been able to impact you guys so that you're not confused on what time frames to be using for trading. As you can see, every single time frame has its use. I don't advise you go below the one hour time frame. I use the four hour and the one hour time frame for my execution. And I would only execute the trades in the direction in which the big boss, which is the monthly time frame, has told me to do so. Once again, guys, my name is Dapo Willis. I love you guys very much. If you haven't already subscribed, ensure to subscribe to this channel. And for those of you who haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery program, I urge you guys to do so. Not because I'm the one that put it together, but I'm literally getting messages every day. Students are passing their FTMO, their My Forex Fund. Traders are getting funded because they spend so little got the forex mastery program and they are literally smashing it i flew uh, i actually attended an event where a lot of forex mastery students were and one guy actually took me outside to show me the car he had bought because he had taken the program very stress-free the way i like to trade in four minutes it won't take you three minutes to analyze a market right systematically from the monthly down so that once you do it you know that ah, once this setup is juicy and ripe once my strategy tells me buy or sell on the lower time frame i am certain this is exactly how you go about being correct nine out of ten times so that once you see your setup on a lower time frame and it is in line with what the overall time frame is telling you you can beat your chest and be like yes 
it's time to sell. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's Dapo Willis once again. Uh, thank you very much for staying to the very end of this video. All the links you need are going to be in the description down below. Once again, if you haven't already subscribed, I ensure you do so. And I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos. Actually, is there anything else I have to say? Nothing for now. See you guys in my other videos. Take it easy and peace out. Bye.